Hello, hello everyone, welcome to Stoneheart Me Banto. Welcome back to our town. Today I want to work a little bit more on our roads over here. So um, we put out uh, two houses over here that I will be adding to the Steam Workshop very, very soon so you guys can use them. But I feel like we should widen the road here because we're going to make it look interesting around here. So that's the thing I want to work a bit on today. But first I'm going to start with removing some old ladders. We don't want them to be around there anymore. Ragna the Disgusted, level 2 farmer. Why is he disgusted? They say that the best thing in life are acquired tastes. Maybe. Either way, his first cup of coffee was certainly a bit too bitter. Or was it? Okay, he didn't like that coffee, I guess. So, I want to work on road leading up here. I also want to look and see if we can actually get some better and more turrets to sit here because that's something I queued up a very, very long time ago to do. So, um... It seems we don't have them yet, so I'm gonna have a look in the engineer again to see kind of what we're missing. So we need some more bronze gears, and it seems it hasn't queued up very many of those. This one we can cancel for now, we're gonna cancel that for now as well. Uh, this one should be able to do, and bronze ingots we should be able to do as well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove that, and we instead we're gonna maintain two. That should be good. We only use like two of them most of the time. And then we can go for... Ah, I clicked two of that one. That's not really what I wanted. Oh, that removed the other ones as well. Okay. So I want to maintain two iron gears. I want to maintain two bronze gears. And I'm going to move them here. The turret is going to be at the top. And we're going to need steel as well. So let's see if the blacksmith... Uh, what's happening inside of here. So then we have silver, then we have iron, so... I'm guessing we have those then. Yep, we do have iron, so it should be possible. So where is my engineer at the moment? Let's see. Do I still have an engineer? We should have that. Baby and the multi-crafter. I think he might have a trouble reaching his worker bench, potentially. So if we go into and uh, engineer again, and there's the order here. Let's see if it says something. So it says that this one is queued. So it should be possible to do. Here we're missing some bronze ingots. Let's see. Was the shop closed? Is open. Okay, there we go. And uh, let's see. Okay, my guess is that either we can't reach the um, ingredients, the resources, or we can't reach a workbench. In this case, I'm thinking maybe it is in the workbench. And uh, let's see then. So here in inventory, we should be able to see the workbenches, and we should be able to click to go to them. Okay, so here we have a bunch of different ones. So let's see if we can find one for the engineer. Okay, so it feels like it should be possible over here, but just to be safe. I can definitely feel like, yeah, that should be possible. I can't see any reason why it shouldn't be. Uh, but just to be sure, I'm gonna move it over here and open. And see if it starts working then. Because you can see we have loads of iron ingots, so it shouldn't be any problem really. Let's see what happens now then. He's still building, that's weird. He does not care for his job, it seems. So I'm, what I'm gonna try to do, I'm not sure if it's gonna help. I'm gonna demote him to be a worker and I'm gonna put him back as an engineer again. Okay, now he's an engineer. Collecting building materials. So it appears he's not doing these things. So another thing we can do, I don't think this is gonna help, but I'm gonna try it anyway is that I'm gonna remove everything in the crafting queue in here. Can he do that one? He can do that one. Can he do this one now? Now he can do that one. So sometimes you even have to clean out like the crafting menu. I know it's really weird, but sometimes that's just is what it is. However how weird it is. Uh, Q6 of those is gonna go a bit more than what we did at first. 
And also some clam traps, why not? And let's make sure we are getting the steel ingots. We do have two blacksmiths, so we should be able to craft quite a few at a time, but it seems both of them are also building for some reason. I feel like my crafting things has kind of messed up. Let's look around in here. In the order thing, if I can click it. Seems it's not clickable, but okay. And uh, let's see if I remove this one. Z now we're collecting ingredients. So sometimes the game just bugs up on something. So I'm actually thinking of I'm gonna remove everything in this queue for now. We maybe didn't have to do that, but I'm gonna do that, and I I will have to requeue some things later again. Uh, but yeah, let's start with some bronze. Gonna need some of those, so. Start with eight of those. Steel. Let's do eight of those. Not eight one, but eight. And let's see, we needed a few of these as well. I saw that before. We need some firewood for those. And there was also a chest. I saw that we were disqueuing that one up as well. We can do two of them, them maybe. And I'm gonna wait with making armor for now, I think. I'm gonna have to do a few more of those though. Another thing, the reason why they might have been stuck on a few other things by the way. It may be because they require a high grade fuel for crafting things. But the game doesn't really tell you that that is a problem. So if that's the problem, maybe it should be a little bit more clear what we need to do, I feel like. Because that could definitely be in what it was. Because if we go to Steel Ingot, this one, if I remember correctly, requires better grade fuel. And if we go to our blacksmith over here, so this one is just an ordinary furnace. However, we have it put to a um, piece of charcoal. I remember as if these work differently. Like, you um, need high grade fuel for high grade things. I could be wrong, but that's what I remember. I can add a lump of coal to this one as well. To that, but however, we should probably be moving our better furnace over there instead. So I'm getting a little bit sidetracked, but I feel like I have to fix a few things around town, so let's go inside of the inventory again. Workshop and then how's the blacksmith furnace is in the back, okay. So this one do use a lump of coal, do we have any? In? Yes we do. So I don't think that was the problem then. You can also use hunk of hard coal. Everglown ember, I'm not sure I've ever had that one. And I'm actually gonna see if I can maybe undeploy that one. Okay, they're using it at the moment. Uh, th there's a little trick, like if you move it, and then you cancel the movement while they're carrying it, then you can actually cancel it. Here we go. And then let's see if we can move this over. I think there should be enough space. Ah. Uh, I hope so. It looked a little bit cramped though. I'm actually thinking of moving this one somewhere else. I might make a tier 2 blacksmith actually later on, like an upgraded bigger one. I think I'm gonna put this one over here for now. It seems we have a uh, little thief over here. Let's send some soldiers over him. Should be an easy battle. But yeah, hopefully that is gonna fix a few crafting trouble we had. And we're also gonna queue up to do the elite gong as well again. I saw we had a few of these queued up, so I'm gonna make sure to make a few of them. I don't think we need them, but uh, let's do some. And uh, maybe a silver, silver northern helmet. A two-handed claymore. Loads of damage. Yeah, that's gonna be the blacksmith queue for now. Sometimes you just have to go and revisit your old things and see what is happening, pretty much. And I don't think we're gonna do Ball of Jarn anymore for a while. We're gonna spend the, the cotton on 
fine stuffing and things instead, I think. Because we need that wool or cotton or feathers. So let's see. I'm, I just feel like we should have a little bit of an overlook. So let's say big boy collecting. Dim is restocking items. It appears that maybe only one weaver is working at the moment. Yeah, it seems so, yeah. So for some reason, only one of them is crafting. Okay, now both seems to be doing so. It could be a lack of work benches, but I think we have double of them. And let's make sure we make some firewood as well. Let's make eight of those. Bundle of firewood. Do you only get one for them? It says bundle of firewood. Maybe they changed that. In the past, I think you got a load of them every time you craft them, but I guess they work differently. So may maybe every firewood is more fuel instead. I've been more items. So that's like an, probably a performance thing. Bore time. Ooh. We have need of an experienced blacksmith for two days to help us with forging some new digging equipment. Would you be willing to spare someone? We'll provide them supplies and they will be honored guests of Warren. Sure, sure. Ah. I, I'm not really happy to send away a blacksmith at the moment, but look at that, guys. It, I think we got an Astagundir back as a blacksmith. Disgusted. I don't want to have that title. <laughs> but look at that, we got our first Geomancer. So that's a class you get from uh, cooperating with the bunny, Amberstone clan, and uh, they can do a bunch of really cool things, so I I think we may not be working too much on this now. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the Geomancer. So first we have like a workbench, and then we have the Geomancer Golem workbench, where we can make golems to work for us. And the cool thing is that we can make like terrain blocks, we can make landmarks, we can make swamp landmarks, we can manipulate the water, and we can remove water, we can add water, and we can do it faster as well. And we can also make golems to restock. We can make other golems as well. And uh, this one mines, yeah, the mining, and this one... I think that one does farming. Harvesting, yeah. So it's a pretty cool thing that we can have them. And I guess we get started leveling up, let's see what we can do. Something sheep. Yeah, let's try a Rockfield Stone Landmark and we can put that out later on. But first we need a workbench to be done, so that can be nice. So let's see here. The Wayfaring student of Yemen's has returned as a full-fledged Yemenser. They proved themselves an able practitioner of magic arts indeed. Here's the precious half butterflower collections, traces of a half magic into the half essence, which geomancers can use in their craft. Be sure to tend the planters. Got two amberstone heart bud pot and five half essence. Long pile, clay pile, stone pile. Thank you, thank you. And then I want to have a blacksmith. I'm gonna send one someone soon, but I think I'm gonna keep them at the moment for crafting a few things. Did you see how? It seems we crafted a lot of things so fast. We had even bronze queued up here. And it seems they're already done with that. You can see they were stuck on something silly and now they moved on and done so much in so little time. And now the engineer, look at that, the engineer has been working super fast as well. Ah, that's awesome. Sometimes you just have to go and clean things up for them to work again. Gotta make one of those armors as well. Maybe one of those. Okay, so Amberstone Harf by the pot, a precious gift to a rabbit friend. This pot comes with a planted harf by the flower. So since my little Amberstone bunnies live in this building, up here, I think it makes sense to have it so we have the planters outside. The harf buds, they're flowers. I feel like that makes a lot of sense. And a Geomancer workbench. Should we have this in the garden, maybe? We can make a cool building later on, like a shaman building almost. Or maybe over here in the old ruins, that's a pretty cool spot for it, maybe? I'm gonna have this one sitting like... Over here. 
And maybe we'll be adding some turrets over here as well. Could be good to have some over there. So now that you're, our town is doing a bunch of different things, I think I'm gonna actually look into working a bit up here. And I'm gonna go up to do even more bronze. There we go. So, let's do a little bit on the road and um, see how I wanna have it. New building. So we're gonna make a road and I'm gonna maybe keep the one we have in the middle. Then we're gonna drag it like this. So it's gonna be a lot wider. And I'm gonna, only gonna go that far down for now, I think. And then we're gonna make it even wider over here. It's so maybe five more. Like that, so it's gonna be a really, really, really wide road. And we can make the road lead up to the buildings. Like that. And then the road is also gonna lead all the way up to the gate. I think once we build this, it's gonna look even better. And uh, maybe I will actually... I'm gonna remove that one. Yes, we can make the entire thing... Get it looking nice. We're gonna play around uh, with a few different colors while doing this. We have one color over here. Then we're gonna have some darker colors. So I'm gonna go a little bit random in the borders. But some places will go a little bit deeper as well. go and uh, then let's go for some brighter spots here and there and they're, and they're gonna be like little patches here and there we can even make a figure here I don't think we can do that but we could if you want to but there we go then we can use an even brighter maybe in the middle here and there the things and we can also throw in a bit of stone Places. Maybe a few little tiny patches as well, and maybe some darker in the middle too. And a little bit of stone color, why not? I like to have a bit of stone. Even though this is a wood color, it kind of looks like stone. And some dark ones, we want to have a mix of things. That's how I like to do it. And I'm not sure if this road is gonna be this straight. Um, because it looks very, very flat, you know. So sometimes I like to go and do a little bit of randomness like this. Just to not make it look super flat. I feel like a Viking village wouldn't probably be straight roads everywhere. It feels, I don't know, it feels a little bit not too realistic, at least to me. Even though we're not gonna win for like full realism. But look at that, kind of far away, it looks kind of sweet, doesn't it? Might not look, look perfect, but uh, I think it looks pretty nice. We can go around a little bit like so. Nice. I feel like something down here, we need something more. Maybe I just need a bit more of this. Okay, I feel pretty satisfied. I'm not entirely sure for the roads go leading up to the buildings. I may change them later on. Uh, but I'm overall pretty satisfied. Look at that. Looking pretty good. So let's do that one. And uh, we got some errors. It seems it's related to 
next to those. I feel like that should be possible. I don't think I made it go under. So I will have a look when it, the red thing goes away to see if it actually goes under or not. And then we can just make that as a separate little part if we really want to. So we can just click that, drag it like so. Click that, drag like that. And hopefully that works now. There we go. So we're just gonna fill that in afterwards. So that's looking pretty good. And we also have to connect it to the bridge of course, but we can make this thing in steps. And I'm probably gonna be covering over here as well, so may have a road going next to it. And I'm gonna show you guys something that I I just did it for fun really. So I made my bridge you can see over here, right? And I thought like how would it look if I throw the bridge over the wall? Over the palisade wall. And it looks pretty cool and I might actually do something like that. I haven't decided fully yet. But uh, idea would be then to take this one, have it centered over the palisade wall. Like that. And then another one attached to the other side. Like that. And it would look like this. Doesn't that look pretty cool? And we can throw in and make some custom towers. And the cool thing is that archers would be able to go up here and rain down some arrows. I feel like it looks actually pretty cool. So I might maybe use that. And we still have the walls under to protect us, but we can walk on top. I feel like it's pretty cool. So I might be doing that. Let me know what you think. If it looks good or not, or if it just looks silly. Maybe silly and good, maybe. Okay, let's see, do we have some turrets? We do have one, awesome. So, I'm gonna undeploy these. Then we're gonna put the, the better turrets up there. There's a limit on how many we can have, we can have 15 at the moment. If we get more engineers, we can have even more. That's a way to get more, get more engineers, you can have more. And if you have more trappers that will level up highly, you can also have more traps if you do it that way. So I want to see our blacksmith, how are they doing? Okay, looks like they're doing pretty good and very nice. So, like I said, going around sometime, cleaning out the crafting window is a really good idea. So, for example, here the game has auto queued up a ton of undead cordial. Crazy amounts. Not made by me. So I probably deleted about 50 of those now. You can see the orders down there. Almost everything is these. I'm just gonna remove them and that's probably gonna make the game run potentially a little bit easier as well. Don't have it totally messed up the queue. And meanwhile the mason is not doing anything. <laughs> um, some stone totems could be cool. Maybe some storage, since they're not busy. We can make some... Maybe some gold flakes. A stray goblin wolf. Okay, that should be easy. And we did also buy a couple of different trees. So we have apple tree sapling. That we can grow if we want to. And yeah, maybe over... Let's see... We should have it over here. Some green over here would be kind of nice. Ah, maybe we can grow it in the middle of the road. That would be nice. Or maybe at the side of the road. Let's see. Oh, we have four apple trees. Okay. Let's go like that and see how that's going to turn out. We also do have some almond trees that we can put out if we want to later on. But I'm gonna wait a bit with those for now. But yeah guys, I hope you like our new road. And uh, yeah, fixing up the queues and so on. So um, in the next episode guys, we are gonna continue and uh, figure out what we're gonna do. Probably work a bit more on roads, maybe a little bit on some building, we shall see. Maybe work on a harbor a bit more. Because the harbor is going to be extending around here, surrounding the water. And we might do a little bit over here later on as well to really connect everything in town eventually. But guys, thanks for checking out today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like on the video. 
subscribe and uh, don't forget to put on the bell notification as well so you don't want to be missing out future videos. So thanks for watching guys and hope you gonna have a rest and great day and see you guys soon soon again. Take care everyone, have a great one. Thank mm -hmm. you.